What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over Xiaomi's newest band, the Mi Band 7, and how it differs from last year's version, the Mi Band 6. We're gonna check out the similarities between the two, the differences between the two, and really, which one should you buy? Well, let's go ahead and get right into it. So of course, let's start with the screens. They both do have an AMOLED touchscreen display with pretty much the same interface. And also it has five atmospheres of water resistance. They both claim they have about 15 days of battery life. The Xiaomi 6 has about 14 days, but there is a little bit of nuance we'll get later in the video. They both come with a heart rate monitor, an accelerometer, and a gyroscope. They do not have GPS, even though there were rumors that the 7 would have GPS, there is no GPS, but they have connected GPS through through your phone and they also have SPO2 tracking as well. They both have the same app compatibility, whether it be the Mi Fitness app or the Zep app. The seven pushed me towards the Mi Fitness app where the six pushed me towards the Zep app. I don't know if they're pushing to put everything in the Mi Fitness app, but there is a little bit of flexibility between the two. But to be honest, I believe the Zep app is a little bit better. They both have, of course, exercise tracking. We'll get into that in a second. Sleep tracking, they have breathing exercises they have women menstrual cycle tracking on them as well with a personal activity intelligence score to let you know how fatigued you are and stuff like that they both come with pretty much the same exact magnetic charger you're able to use them interchangeably between the two I do like how it snips on and it takes about two to three hours to fully charge either device they both work with Android and iOS where the 7 needs Android 6.0 or higher, and the 6 needs Android 5 or higher, but that's the only differences between the two of those. If this video is being really helpful for you guys, please make sure to smash that like button. It's gonna help with the YouTube algorithm to help push it out to more people. Let's go ahead and delve into the differences. The first thing and the most notable thing is the screen size. The 7 does come with a 1.62 inch AMOLED dis display, where the 6 comes with a 1.56 inch AMOLED display. That sounds very minimal, uh, but I'll show you a little bit of B-roll to see how that looks in person. When you're working out, there is just more room on the screen to show more information to give to you, so you will see a difference when you do have them side by side. It also is a tad bit brighter. They claim 500 nits of brightness where 450 nits were on the six also with the screen this year they came with an always on display option with the seven so you're able to keep the screen always on which is nice you don't have to wait to see that band flicker on when you are bringing it up to your face so but of course that will kill the battery life by a pretty decent amount they of course claim around 15 days of battery life with its 180 milliamp hour battery but if you're going to be doing always on you'll probably see more like five six days the user interface did get a little bit of of a makeover it is a little bit more fluid and a little bit more pleasing to the eye I would say it's a little bit more blocky on the 6 it's not really that crazy to be honest it did get a lot snappier after an update with the 7 when I first got it it was a little laggy but with the update it did get a ton better you also get the option of more watch faces on the 7 they say 100 plus where the 6 they say around 60 plus again relatively minimal and with that battery life like I was talking about the 7 does come with a 180 milliamp hour battery where the 6 comes with a 125 milliamp hour battery that sounds pretty big I mean 180 to 125 but sadly that won't go to too much battery life I think that is due to the screen size and a couple of little extra things that they have added to the 7 but you're gonna get pretty much the same battery life between the two unless you're turning the always on on the 7 which will probably even drop it by a little bit farther but if you're turning on all the activity tracking stuff like that with both of these you'll probably get around seven to eight days but if you're not turning any of those on Again, you'll get about 14 days with the six and about 15 days with the seven. So with its fitness dragon, they pretty much do have the same heart rate monitor built in, but the seven does come with SPO2 alerts and also comes with new training modes like VO2 max and other training loads and additional sports tracking modes as well on the seven. So you will get more sports tracking modes on the seven with this. And also the SPO2 on the seven, you can constantly monitor it to give you notifications when it dips below 90% 
set where you would not get that on the six. You can do it with sleep, with continuous tracking, with sleep, where it does all day tracking on the seven with your SPO2 levels. The seven also does come with a little bit extra data when it comes to things, including VO2 max, with your aerobic and anaerobic exercises that goes into EPOC, the excess post-exercise oxygen consumption to let you know how well you are recovered and stuff like that. So you will see more information on the seven to help you with your fitness and where you should be pushing yourself, where you will not get that on the six. All right, let's go over the user interface of these two. So first I'm gonna go over with the seven. It is a little bit bigger when you are seeing them side by side and you can also tell by the screen, a little bit brighter as well. It is relatively easy to switch around and of course a lot of this is very customizable. When you swipe up, as you can tell, these are rounded icons so it is a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Going into more, all of that's right in. If you need to go backwards, you swipe to the right and that is your backwards on the Mi Band 6. So it is a little bit smaller, but kind of the same thing. It's a little bit more boxier of an interface, so it's not really that big of a deal. But as you can tell, you really can't see that much more things on screen with the six. Let's go into your workouts real quick. So if I'm gonna start an outdoor run, I'm just gonna go into go. Of course, I can't get my positioning right now. That's fine, okay. So it's gonna go ahead and count down. Again, relatively bright. And you can see a lot of good information, your heart rate, your distance, and when you swipe up average pace and stuff like that. And even more things like cadence and stuff like that. When you do need to cancel these, you'd have to swipe to your right and hold that to cancel. It takes it took me a little bit to figure that out. When you go into the workout for the Mi Band 6, go into that same outdoor run, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna go into go, it's not connected. Still the same type of countdown, not that bright this time around. But as you can tell, it is a little bit different. They try to make the contrast a little bit better. Check out pace, but no heart rate to really see right from the get go. But you do have cadence and stride and calories and where your heart rate is all the way there at the bottom. So it is a little bit harder to see all your information on the seven when you do this. And as far as the back of both of these go, they look pretty much identical with the same charging at the bottom. Uh, so you're really not gonna see too much at the bottom. And both of these do have replaceable straps. But since the seven is a little bit bigger, the six will not fit in the seven. It kind of swims a little bit. I mean, if you do kind of push it in a little bit, it will fit, but it is a little bit loose, but they can fit relatively decently. What are my overall thoughts and recommendations between the two? If you have the six and you are looking to upgrade to the seven, uh, don't do it now. It's about $70 on Amazon. That price will dip by a little bit. Kind of the same thing happened when the six came out. It started at a relatively high price and started coming down. So the seven is around 70 bucks right now. We can get the six for around $45. So if you have a six, wait a little bit if you weren't thinking about upgrading, but it's really not that big of an upgrade. But if you're looking between the two. Uh, I, I mean, the seven bigger screen has more information to give you, continuous SPO2 tracking as well. If that money is not that big of a deal for you, that $25 in between the two, I would 100% recommend the seven over the six. But if you do wanna wait maybe about a month or two, that $70 price tag, I believe is gonna be dropping down to 60, maybe even like $55 when it comes down a little bit. So you will be able to save a little bit of money in that regard. But if you were looking for something with a little extra extra battery life. The Mi Band 4 and 5 do come with a lot more battery life, but I really don't see too many options where you would want the 6 unless you are looking to save a little bit of money. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please smash that like button. If it was really helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out. And if you're looking to purchase either one of these bands, I am going to link an Amazon affiliate link down below. And a little bit of that purchase is going to help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.